Its inability to address the primary needs of the people at the grassroots has made the third tier of government irrelevant in the administration of the country. This is the position of the Chartered Institute of Local Government and Public Administration of Nigeria, which it made known at the induction ceremony of its new members in Nigeria's capital. This, it says, is because of the undue political interference and lack of autonomy for local government in Nigeria. Correspondent Habib Alawa reports. Local government areas which collectively represent the third tier of the Nigerian political governance structure have since inception been in search for relevance. The total dependence of the local government on their governors has robbed the grassroots of desired development. From federal allocation records, the 774 local government councils through the Commissioners for Finance received a total of 762 billion naira fact disbursement between January and June this year. The Institute of Local Government and Public Administration of Nigeria is concerned that development at the grassroots does not reflect the funds re reportedly released to the councils. Majority of these areas are ravaged by poverty, illiteracy, health care challenges, terrorism and other blights that indicate they have been starved of funds needed to tackle challenges. Some of the problems encountered in Nigeria can be solved by a varial local government system if they are allowed to perform the duties they are enshrined to, to do. For instance, we're talking about banditry and criminality in Nigeria. You heard me when I say that everything about crime is local. No crime can be successfully perpetrated without local collaborator. To be effective, the body believes the local government need to be autonomous in its political, administrative and social responsibility. It is only the local government that can bring development to the problem we have uh, to bring a uh, uh, solution to the problem we are facing in Nigeria today. All these uh, security challenges, uh, uh, other economic problems we have is because local government is not functioning. There is no crime committed in Nigeria today that is not committed within the framework of a local government. And local government chairmen, and they, are part, they, they can't do anything because there is no money for them to operate. So we want a situation where we are going to have a formidable local government. From this dividend of what we generally call dividend of democracy. We begin to see development of infrastructure. We begin to see people uh, participatory governance. So that's where we are going to benefit. Local governments worldwide are considered as strategic institutions for the provision of basic socioeconomic, environment, and other functional services. The Institute is advocating that local government functions be allocated to the local government with powers, resources and necessary autonomy to handle them. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.